much for joining us. I'm Maria Sorrell here at Dodger Fan Fest, joined by the one and only Nancy B. Heffley. Nancy, there are a lot of Dodger fans ready for the season. There sure are. This place is jumping. It is jumping, and I know there's a lot of players here today that are coming out to see the fans. Have you ever seen a fan fest this big in all the years you've been here? I've never come to a fan <laughs> fest before. This, this is, is my, my first one. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've never seen one so big before. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I think everybody's excited because so many new players coming together with the new ownership and hopefully this is going to be our year. I think so. We're going all the way. All the way. Well, the first year you were here, they went all the way. That's right. Yes. Well, that doesn't mean this is my last. No, now. no of course not last. That just means that this is the year, some 20-some years later, that they do it again. It's about time, I do believe. I think so, too. Yeah. I think so, too. All right. We had a chance to catch up with all the players that are out here today, including Matt Kemp, Andre Ethier, Javi Guerra. So let's get to the interviews. Thanks, Nancy. here at Fan Fest, days away from spring training. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, it's one of those classic things where you hate going, but you love being there. You know, uh, it's packing up that stuff, getting going, you, committing yourself to do it. Um, I, I think that feeling kind of, you know, kind of irks at you, but once you get there, it's awesome. It's great being around the guys again, great being around the game. Uh, you know, it's exciting to be doing it again. So, uh, you know, a lot of mixed emotions, and uh, you know, it's been a long off season, long enough where we need to get back to it and, uh, you know, hopefully shorten up that off season this year. You know, a lot of new players on the team this year, and everyone's going to come together, obviously. How long does that sort of take for you guys in spring? Well, you know, you don't know. It takes different times, but I think a lot of these guys are older guys. It's not like we have a lot of young guys coming in, but so you know, with older guys, there's a lot of guys who know how to just come in, get ready, and get themselves ready. And uh, I think uh, you know, everyone's talking about the chemistry part. Well, you know, chemistry happens when guys just go out there and do their thing and play well. So uh, I think we have a lot of guys who are capable of doing that, and uh, you know, we look forward to it happening. Adrian Gonzalez told me about a month ago. He said, you know, we're going to come together as a brotherhood, and once we do that, he said, look out. Yeah, you know, that's all it takes. Is guys really pulling for each other, no matter. Uh, you know, good things or bad things, and I think even when things aren't going good, you have to pull for each other even more. So, uh, you know, I think we're confident. We have guys, a good group of guys who blend well, and uh, even with the new guys, I think once we get those, you know, that whole guys accepted to, you know, this environment will be good. You know, I walked in here today and I saw the lines of people, and I was like, I don't even think I knew there's that many Dodger fans out there. No, I don't think there's any left. Uh, you know, I think there's any Dodger fans left in the in the city. I think they're all here, so pretty neat. We got some of the best fans in the world, and. Uh, you know, nothing surprised me when it comes to the Dodger fans, man. We, like I said, we got great fans, and uh, they're here for the support. And I know they're they're pumped up for this fan fest. You got a lot of new guys coming in this year. How long does it kind of take to gel with everyone once you get to spring? Uh, you know, it's going to be important. Spring training is going to be really important, and uh, you know, that's where we, you know, come in and you know get to know know some of the new guys, and uh, you know, get a fit and a feel for what's going on, and uh, you know. Uh, as spring training goes, you, you get more comfortable, and uh, you know we'll have more time with the guys, and uh, it's, it's going to be a, it's going to be a great spring training. I'm excited about it. Everybody's everybody's saying this is sort of Yankees West now with all the new players and all the yeah. money that's been put in. But does that really make a difference for you guys? I mean, you got to win to to be considered the Yankees. You got to win some championships, and we haven't done that in a long time. So uh, we got a lot to prove, and uh, you know we might look good on paper, but it's going to take a while for us to uh, to get to where we need to be. You know, it's a long season, and uh, you know we have to stay consistent, and everybody has to do what they have to. Do do to win games. How are you feel, feeling physically? I feel good. You know, every day is getting better and better. You know, I've, I've been hitting for the past, you know, couple of weeks and, and uh, you know, my shoulder's getting stronger and, uh, you know, I'm just excited to be doing baseball activities again because those first couple of months of rehab were pretty boring. Yeah. <laughs> well, Matt, lots of Dodger fans out here waiting to see you today, so enjoy and we'll see you in spring training All in a few right. weeks. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are here at Fan Fest with Mark Ellis. Mark, are you ready for spring training? I am. I'm excited. I, uh, just driving up to the ballpark today. I got so excited, you know, if, uh, for baseball season, and uh, obviously, you know, been working out and getting ready. So I'm uh, definitely ready for spring training. More so ready for the season to start. You know, spring training can uh, be a drag sometimes, but uh, really excited to uh, to see the new teammates and uh, just to put everything together. How long does it take when you're in spring training to kind of get to know everyone and spend some time with the guys? Not very long. You know, we're uh, we're there for quite a few hours during the day, and uh, a lot of times. In spring training you don't get to know the pitchers as well but right. the guys you, you know position players you uh we spend quite a bit of time together so it doesn't take too long 
You're talking about the excitement just today be, being out here at FanFest. I mean, if that doesn't get you pumped up for the season, nothing will. There are thousands of people out here to see you guys. Yeah, it's neat. You know, you pull up in the parking lot and uh, there's just lines of people. And, uh, you know, even even driving up to the ballpark, seeing the Dodgers fans around the stadium, you know, it's, uh, it's fun. You feel like it is a game today, you know. And uh, I know people are excited about uh, what the front office has done, you know, this past winter and even last summer when they added a bunch of players. So I know uh, expectations are high and that's great. You know, we, we love having high expectations and uh, we'll embrace them. And uh, I think uh, I think all the fans uh, should be excited. You know, I had a chance to talk with Adrian Gonzalez about a month ago, and he was saying that really the way to win is to become a brotherhood, and you don't hear that much in baseball. So I thought it was really interesting and good that he said that's how we want to come together as a team. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, we're going to have a little bit more time together this year. You know, uh, last year we kind of all got thrown in the mix, which is good. You know, well, not a bad thing at all, and uh, you always want to add good players. But uh, to have a little bit more time together this year and. Uh, to kind of start the season off with the guys who we're gonna who we're gonna go to work with every day, so I think it'll be a lot of fun, and I think Adrian uh, hit that one on the head. I'm pumped. I mean, I, I didn't realize how big of an event this was gonna be, and it's amazing. When we pulled up in the parking lot, everything was wrapped around. It was, it's. A, I, I can't wait to get in there and start signing. You know, everyone's just so nice. Everyone's greeting us and just, you know, excited for the new year like we are. You know, a lot of new players on the team. How long is it gonna kind of take for you guys to get together in spring training and really pull together? I think. These three days together, for the most part, tied us together tighter than we've ever been. Um, if we can take that and go into spring, I feel like we'll we'll get off on the right foot. And Donnie does a great job of you know pulling the guys together and making team chemistry work. And we don't have a, we don't have anybody on the team that I feel like is that guy that's going to cause any trouble. Like it's it's a fun time to be a Dodger and it's a great time to be a fan. You know, interesting because I know that it's moving around you guys that like the pitchers and the position players, everybody's really together. A lot of teams sort of separated, but you guys don't do that. I think that comes from the top. I, I think, you know, when Donnie came in and, you know, set the tone early, I, I, I think he did it right. You know, he came in and th there's just something about a manager that comes in and lets his players be themselves and play to their best ability. And that's, that's I don't know, it's unreal. But everyone loves that and they feed off that. And everyone wants everyone to genuinely succeed. And that's, that's something different. I play on a lot of teams where guys are kind of pulling for their own selves and kind of done stuff. It's not like that here. Everyone wants you to do well. You know, if you fail, we all fail with you. you know, we all feel with you. We're not mad at you. We're just... We're upset because you know, we know you're upset, and that's that's a good feeling. Adrian Gonzalez talked about you guys coming together as a brotherhood, and he said, once we do that, no one will beat us. I agree. Once we, you know, it, it, you're, you're right. You know, once that happens, I don't know how long that's going to take or, you know, whatever. But when we get to spring, I feel like once we do have that happen, it's, you know, the love here for everyone is, is unreal. Everyone loves everyone and wants to be there for everyone. So it's you're right. That brotherhood's going to be awesome, and it's going to be a good time to see us play because we're going to have a lot of fun, you know, and we're going to play well. I invite all the fans to come out to spring training. If you've never been, it's the most amazing time. Give us a little behind the scenes and tell us what it's like for you. What's an average day at spring training like? Oh, man, it's, it starts early. I usually try to get there around 7, you know, mess around, you know, get breakfast. And, you know, my day doesn't start about 9, 9.30. But you get there at 7, you know, do whatever I have to do as far as morning work, workouts. 9 o'clock on the field, stretch, move, move around. We probably get off the field around 1, go inside, lunch, you know, and then work out after that. And then, you know, just sit around you know you can get better daily and that's the biggest thing my, my new goal this year is just you know daily I can do something to get better and uh and, and I know that's video or that can be physical or that could be mentally like it, to me mentally is more important than physically I think we're all physically gifted um to get at this level mentally it's like who can separate what from when you know everything's up and down but if you can stay stable that's the biggest difference you know that's what makes everyone I think take it to the next level you know any of the guys here at the Dodgers or new group for you um Let's see, I, I guess I just know Jerry Harrison now. Okay. <laughs> and I played a little bit with Billingsley in high school, but I mean, I'm talking like a week maybe. And then I knew Jamie Wright, but he just signed with Tampa. And that might be it. And, but I, I've interacted with a lot of them just here and there. But as actually knowing the person, probably Jerry Harrison's the only person on the team. Does spring training give you enough time to sort of meet everyone and get to know guys? Oh, that's, that's what I'm thinking about maybe heading out early this year, try to get, it's been like the first couple weeks trying to get more comfortable with everyone and then by then you could completely focus on the pitching stuff and already get to already know everyone pretty good, but I don't know, it's trying to, trying to figure that out. All right, Mark, a lot of new faces here at the Dodgers, you being one of them. Tell us how this came about when you heard that you might come over here. Well, I mean, I got a call uh, right after the season uh, when the uh, Cardinals lost uh, to the Giants in the playoffs. I got a call about a week later, uh, 
saying that Ned Coletti uh, asked permission and wanted to talk to me. Um, wife and I sat back and thought of the opportunity and my gosh, you know, being a LA kid my whole life and uh, having my family, we live down in Orange County and, and so we said it would be a good time to maybe make a move and uh, went for the interview, liked the interview, accepted the job and here I am. How many of the players have, do you know already and compared to? So there's two players, uh, Skip Schumacher and uh, Nick Punto, who I know that I played with, uh, with in uh, St. Louis with. Other than that, just watching from afar, um, I, it's going to be, I'm going to spend a lot of time observing, um, watching, getting to know these guys, you know, uh, it takes time. So uh, I'm excited to do it. I love teaching, love being around baseball, so uh, it's going to be a good year. Spring training really give you enough time as a coach to sort of look at the guys, get to know them a little bit, and maybe tweak what they're doing right, wrong? Well, there's always tweaking and, and some way swing. I mean, the best in the game do it for the rest of you know, till the day they retire. But what it is, it's all about a game plan. It's, it's all about being patient at the plate. It's all about discipline. So those are the things I like talking about. Uh, that, those things, you get guys start thinking about that, start thinking about what the pitch is trying to do to you, understand the strike zone. Um, those are the things I'm really big on. It's such a mental game in addition to the physical game. So somebody like you that was such a good hitter can look at somebody and maybe give them different ideas they hadn't thought of. Well, that's true. You throw them out, uh, you know, and I, I got a really nice uh, assistant hitting coach and John Valentin. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's a lot of work as a hitting coach. Now I have, you know, have an assistant, it's even better. You got instead of having two, you got four eyes, and you got Don Manley, who was a great hitter himself, and it was a hitting coach. So we really got six really good eyes looking at our hitters. Um, we're in a really good place. Just about everybody getting together and, and uh, gelling together, coming together, and um, and trying to withstand the six-month long season. But uh, it's going to be an exciting one. You have a lot of new players on your team this year. How long does it sort of take for the guys to, to gel together, do you think? Uh, I, I don't know if there's a time. You know, I just think, you know, guys get along or they don't. You know, and it's nice. They don't have to be, like, best buddies, and they don't have to go to dinner all the time together, but they all have to have respect for each other as far as, you know, the work that we have to do, the preparation that we have to do, you know, who we represent, and the way we're supposed to play the game. And as long as we're respectful of each other in, in that way, we're going to be fine. It's always nice when they get along and they like each other because, you know, anytime you work with somebody that you like, it's just so much more fun going to work. And baseball is a game that you want to really be played with some energy and have a, and fun. And I just think guys play better baseball when they're having fun. So that part, I want them to get along. It's interesting because talking to Javi Guerra, he said the pitchers, the position players, doesn't matter on this team who you are. They all hang out together. It's not like they're very separated. He said that starts with you at the top. Well, that, that's that's nice, and I, I do believe that. Though I think you know you hear in football a lot that you know it's the offense and the defense, and they they put the kickers somewhere that nobody knows where they're at. Uh, well, they, <laughs> do put the, they do put the kicker somewhere else on it. <laughs> so. But, you know, I think with us, we're, we're together all the time. Because you see, talk about bullpen guys or pitchers. They're kind of everyday players. They got a chance to play every day. Uh, it's the starters that sometimes, you know, they got they pitch and they got four days off, you know. Uh, but it's nice when those guys are out as part of the club, on the bench. So uh, I think it's true that we're all one team. We're all trying to do the same thing. And that's where it gets back to let's have respect for the guys that are playing and, and they're playing that day and what we're trying to accomplish. You had a good offseason. We've seen you at a couple of basketball games. It's been good. I've got to see the, the Clippers play a couple of times. My buddy Joe Safety over there. I'll get his name in there. Yeah. Uh, so he's my boy. We've been together for a long time. So uh, I've got to see a few games. Been able to, I've been out in, uh, in L.A. a lot more this, this winter than I have been in the past. Still got to get back home with, with things. But uh, it's been a good winter. Ready to go again. Uh, it's all good. Well, if you're ready, we'll see you out in spring. Sounds good. And now it's time to meet two more members of the Clippers Spirit Dance Team. How are you girls doing tonight? Great. I'm doing really, really good. <laughs> Marissa, you're a rookie. You're a second year? Third year veteran. Third year veteran for Kelly. Now you guys are not just teammates on the Clipper Spirit, but you guys have known each other your whole lives, right? Yeah, for about 12 years. <laughs> yeah. So was it was it Kelly, was it you that had to influence her? Did, like, how, how has the relationship 
where you guys ended up on the same team together? Um, well, we've been dancing together our whole lives since high school, junior high, elementary school. And um, I started it a couple years before. And I guess it just influenced her on her own. And so I walked the whole process through with her. And we just had a good time. And I'm so happy she's on the team this year. Do you ever think of the possibility if you didn't make it, or maybe you have to re-audition even if you're on the team already, what if like one was left out? Did you ever talk about that? Like, no, we didn't talk about it. <laughs> we just hoped for the best, and you know, gave it our all. And even if I didn't make it, I know she's an awesome dancer, and I'd be happy for her. So I like that. Just pure optimism. There was no even thought that this wasn't going to be a, a twosome. Not at all. <laughs> I'm so excited that she made it. So. Now, what is it? Uh, like, are you uh, doing dance outside of? Outside of the Staples Center, like, are there any uh, dance things you do outside of the, the, the Clipper Spirit? Um, I just teach dance, so that's the other thing. I'm not performing in any other events, so. And, and how is that? Is that something you want to continue doing for the foreseeable future? Yes, definitely. I really enjoy teaching dance, and um, so yeah, it's something that I'm very much so considering to do as I'm older. Nice. And like, did was it basketball that drew you to this? Was it like like what was it that actually, Kelly? made you want to audition for the Clipper Spirit? Um, in the first place, I mean, I've been dancing my entire life, so that was probably my main reason. And then as soon as I started auditioning and kept making the cuts, I just wanted it more and more. And since the first year that I've been on the team, I've just become such a huge Clippers fan. It's my favorite sport, and it's my favorite team to watch. Right, and somebody like you, Kelly, who's been here for it's your third year. Like the times weren't always so good here, you know. I don't know if Carissa knows this, but there were, there were a few more losses like two or three years ago, and now the Clippers are you know on top of the NBA. Like, what is it like for both of you to? You've seen a progression. You're coming into this like hot team, and you know 20,000 fans every night. What what is it like coming into this environment like fresh? It's very exciting. It's very cool to see such a big um, fan base, I guess, for the Clippers, especially because you know there's a two LA team so it's really cool to come out and get a dance in front of all these people and it's exciting. Yeah that's right there's a, there's another team that that plays in this building as some people know and there's a dance squad that that cheers for them too like you, you guys are you guys are now the number one dance NBA team in Los Angeles. What how does that feel? I mean it's awesome but one of my best friends is or a couple of my best friends are on the Lakers team so it's really cool. Well, Kelly, uh, what do you do? How do you spend your time outside of uh, the Clipper Spirit? Well, I used to work at Starbucks, and I was there for a while, but I just recently had to resign because I'm really focusing on school this semester and the next coming year, and um, I'm studying business, so just been focusing all my time towards school. Nice. Well, hope you guys have a great rest of the season and keep cheering the Clippers to victory. Looks like we're going to be at the top of the, the West for a little while. So, Carissa, thank you, and Kelly, thank, thank you. you for joining us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, they're saying it's a whole new blue, that's for sure. We're going to see all these guys again in spring training. Thanks so much for joining us here today at FanFest. I'm Maria Soreo, and we'll see you next time.